right, next, let's talk a little bit about the Kansas City Chiefs and George Carr Laftis, this powerful young defender uh, who's described as having a relentless motor, has motored his way into his first preseason games, already found his way to the quarterback a couple times too. Uh, very impressive. But before we get too much into that story, Chiefs fans, we've got to know, you know, football season's right around the corner and what better way to start by making some way too early predictions on some awards. Uh, is Mahomes going to become a two-time MVP? Does George Karlaftis become defensive rookie of the year? Is Sky Moore offensive rookie of the year material? You got us. Let us, let us know in the comments below. Uh, give us some thoughts. Who do you think are going to win the coveted awards this year in the NFL? But Nick, why don't you let us uh, in on what you thought about Karlaftis' first performance in his preseason game? Yeah, so Karlaftis uh, in, in the loss, in the eventual loss of Chicago Bears, had a big sack on, on a third down situation. That was really the only noticeable play that he made in terms of people watching the game. It was a, it was a nice sack, obviously, to get the Bears off the field. But I think that what jumps out at me and made me take a deeper look into Karlaftis is what uh, his coaches and teammates have said after the game. Uh, this is according to Andy Reid. The best thing that I love to see about him is he just has a motor. I mean, the kid was just going all out. One of the plays, if the quarterback held it for a half second longer, he would have had a strip sack. He's had an impressive debut. He's the type of guy, smart player, that's going to keep that motor going. He's going to help us this year. And it's not just Andy Reid saying this. This is according to veteran defensive end Frank Clark, who Carl Aftis is going to be paired up against opposite of him. Uh, according to Clark, man, it's dope. Uh, who has been eager to tutor Karlaftis and says his passion reminds him of himself. You're going to make a lot more plays with that motor than you're going to tend to see from other guys who don't have it. So obviously Karlaftis making a sack in his first debut is big because the Chiefs need more pass rushers. Obviously Melvin Ingram has moved on. Uh, other key defenders such as Tyron Matthew on the back end, Daniel Sorensen, who, you know, how good he was remains to be seen. It's just a, well, well, you know, he's still gone. So it's still a subtraction there. But uh, having a guy like Carl Aftis come in and, and have that motor and have that energy is certainly going to be a strong point for the Kansas City defense as they look to you know, bounce back from that loss to the Bengals in the AFC Championship game on the strength of a better defensive unit. What do you think of Carl Aftis and, and generally this Kansas City defense and how he's going to fit into it? Uh, I think Carl Aftis is, you know, that high motor. Like, he seems like a guy that you love to have on your team, but you hate to play against. Like in practice, he's probably a menace because he seems like he goes, he's not like a Trevor Penning to me where he's nasty. Like, you know, you might want to watch your back. He could, you know, throw, throw a couple elbows in there. Carl Aftis just seems like a guy who always goes 100%. Like he gives it his best effort all the time. Like they say, relentless motor. Uh, that's the key word they say when you refer to Carl Aftis. I don't think he's going to be a guy that I think of early on in his career as like Jadavian Clowney, who he would have some splash plays here or there, but sometimes people question whether he was giving his all on every single play. Yeah. I don't think you will ever have to worry about that with Karlaftis. I think he is gunning for the quarterback or edge contain whatever he's got to do, but every single play he's giving it his all. And I think that's something that, uh, isn't said an, about enough. I think that's a, a pretty key attribute in the NFL to a great player. Yeah, it's sort of an underrated aspect because we look at a lot of defensive players and a lot of it, especially defensive lines. Well, how many sacks do you get? How many tackles for loss? And, you know, but you sort of have a guy who may only have one sack in a game, but, he, you know, you brought up Jadavion Clowney. There's a lot of guys that, you know, take plays off or they kind of, you know, don't give it their all or they don't have the conditioning to keep playing. I mean, how many times in a game do we see, you know, starting defensive linemen have to get subbed out in key two minute situations because they don't have the conditioning or, or the mental discipline to hang in there and fight through it. And having a guy like Carl Aftis, first of all, I don't know how many times you can say the word motor in a single article. It seems like every time there's a posting about Carl Aftis, the word motor is used 5,000 times. I mean, I've never seen this before in a guy. He must be ridiculous, like a new kind of Greek freak going on in Kansas City. But the Kansas City Chiefs need a guy like this, obviously, with Pat Mahomes and that long-term deal as his cap hit gets, uh, gets going higher and higher as his deal progresses. They're going to have to rely on a lot of younger guys in some key positions. We see a guy like Sky Moore, for example, not replacing Tyree Kill, but he's got to do it different things in that offense. As obviously, they had to move on from Tyree Kill. Uh, we, we brought up the fact that Melvin Ingram obviously left. Tyron Matthews gone. A lot of guys are going to leave the Chiefs just because of a dollars game with the salary cap constraints. So they're going to, we're going to, uh, going to rely heavily on some young guys in a, 
bunch of key positions. And Carl Laftis, just having that energy, that toughness, which will always lead to production. That's the other side of it. It's like if you play hard, you'll get the stats. Because defense, a lot of it is just doing the right assignment and playing hard and getting to the football. You're going to see Carl Aftis with a lot of production, tackles, sacks, fumble recoveries, things like that. And that's exactly what the Chiefs need because they're not going to have the dollars to go out and pay for an established dominant veteran in a lot of these positions. So Carl Aftis, right track for the Chiefs. We want to see keep him going, and the Chiefs are probably excited with what he is. But let's see as he goes to the rest of the preseason. But I'm a Chiefs fan. I'm pretty excited with what I see uh, from him at this point. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord's, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.